Startup. Turning on the machine. Attention. Never reach into the machine or have hands in the way of moving parts while turning it on. Be certain the controlling computer is running and the Protomat S62 is connected to the computer before turning the S62 on. Before turning the machine on, open the hood and make sure that there are no loose objects in the work area. Be absolutely certain that all securing devices have been removed and that the work area is free of debris and non-essential parts. Turn the S62 on. Note that the status lights in the back of the S62 light and the headlight illumination also turns on to indicate the machine is ready. Starting Boardmaster. Double-click the Boardmaster icon to begin. After starting Boardmaster for the S62, the Tool Status dialog box appears. Be sure that there are no tools in the tool collet nor tools in the tool tray. If there is a tool in the tool collet, then there must be at least one empty socket in the tool tray, and that empty socket must be specified in the Tool Status dialog. The tool positions are counted from left, position 1, to right, position 10. If there is no tool in the clamp, then none of the radio buttons should be marked and the free tool position should be zero. Confirm by clicking OK. After the Protomat S62 is switched on and Boardmaster is running, the X, Y, and Z axis must be checked. Close the hood. In the text field between the arrow keys, specify the step size for the manual control in millimeters. Press the up and down arrows and verify that the drill head moves in the proper direction and the proper distance. The blue crosshairs indicate the position of the drilling head. Perform the same test for the X direction. Manually verify the operation of the Z axis by entering a value in millimeters in the next field. Press the raise and lower keys and verify that the drill head performs as expected. Click the pause button to send the drill head to the paused position. This is the usual position from which, for example, board material would be changed. Click the home button to send the drill head to the home position. The home position is used to test existing as well as produce new reference pin systems. Click the zero button to move the drill head to the zero position which is the preferred position before final shutdown of the machine.